Hey guys, this is uh, this is Breven, Breven Adventures. I'm actually going to change the name to, I think, B, B R B, no, Breven Adventures, B A B. If you guys got a suggestion, a good suggestion for the name of my channel, um, I'm trying to have like a solid channel, something easy to remember. I would love, love your feedback. Tell me, figure out what is a good name for, um, for my channel. Anyway, so today I'm talking about my my living experience in Beersheba, how I love it, um, and why I love traveling so much. So traveling, traveling is like, like I'm a travel junkie. I love to travel. Um, my goal is to be able to travel like all the time, like for the next 5, 10, maybe 15 years. If I could just travel for the next, you know, the rest of my life, that would be ideal. Maybe you know, travel, see every country in the next five or so years, and then go live, um, go live in like my hometown area for like three months out of the year, have a house there, maybe have a house in Ireland or in, in New Zealand or somewhere, or just, you know, friends or something there, live there for three months out of the year, and then just travel, travel, travel. Um, you're probably wondering what this background video is, it's just, I wanted something you guys could watch, so I went on a walk today. And just recorded, you know, my little little journey from my home to just a walk around town. Anyway, um, I'm just trying to be more excited with my videos. You guys, guys might be wondering why I'm like so jazzed up or have so much energy, and I'm just trying to just make these videos more fun. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for ways to improve my videos, um, editing things, or shots I could do, or you know, the videos on anything, just let me know. I'd love to make a video about uh, anything that has to do with traveling or um, just going on adventures. So why why do I enjoy and love to travel? I, I love to travel because I love to see new cultures. I love to meet new people. I love to create new memories. Um, I just think it's exciting to, like, go to a new place that you've never been to before. You know, go try some food you've never tried before. Go have a conversation with foreigners that you've never met before, you know, go to a new beach, go to a new new temple or hotel or um, new bar or just, just like see new things. Like it's just super exciting for me. It's what gets me excited. Like I'm planning my trips for uh, the spring of next year and it's just super exciting. Like I want to be excited about what I do and what I get excited about is traveling. So that's what I want to do. I want to continue to travel and it just makes sense to me. Um, and Elon Musk is kind of in inspiring when it comes to this because he does what he is excited about and so I was like okay that's what that guy does and he's pretty awesome he's a pretty cool guy so that's what I want to do I want to travel and do do what I'm excited about you know traveling surfing meeting new people um, just creating things you know developing stuff learning new languages um, just all all these kinds of things and so as I developed this mindset of, you know, wanting to travel, I'm like, okay, what, what do I need to do that? Um, so I obviously need, need, you know, funds and time and be able to get from place to place. And so I'm like, okay, I want to do work that's in foreign countries. That's at least, you know, even if I can make, you know, if I can make good money doing living in a foreign country, then I can save and do more traveling. And I'm like, I started thinking, I'm like, well, if I can get to the point where I can make money from my laptop, then that means I can travel for my, you know, I can work for my laptop and I can live anywhere in the world. I can travel for the rest of my life. You know, even if I have a family, I could, um, I'd be able to have the funds or the, the ability to, you know, travel with them from one place to the next or do this or that, you know, whatever it is. Okay, so my goals for traveling is, you know, the next, you know, however many years, the next few years or whatever it is, I want to see every single country in the world. So far, I've only been to, I think, about 15 or so countries. Um, if you count the United States, like United States, Canada, Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, uh, let's see, Honduras, Spain, France, Ireland, uh, Japan, China, South Korea, India, Nepal, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, and then Indonesia, I've been to, and as well as, I think that's, oh, and Israel, yeah, so about about 19 countries or so, I'm going to go to Jordan here pretty soon, 
So that'll be 20 and I'll be at, you know, over 10%. I think currently right now I'm at over 10%, depending on who you ask or what form you read or, you know, some countries recognize that there's, you know, 196 countries and another place recognize that there's, uh, you know, 200 and I think six countries. I mean, take Israel, for example. Israel is a great, great example of that because, um, you know, most people consider Israel just one country. But then some people consider it two because there's the Palestine and then there's Israeli side. You know, it used to be Palestinian and now it's a big chunk of it's Israel. And there's two little sections that are, you know, the, the West Bank and the Gaza Strip that are Palestinian. Um, and some people don't consider that a country. Some people do. Because there's a lot of little places like that. And then there's like territories and the states. You know, we have, I think, um... We have a couple of territories in the Gulf. I can't remember the names of them. If you guys remember, you can put them in the comments below. That'd be sweet. Um, anyway, how much time do I got? Cool, I got some more time. Got some time. Time to talk about the traveling. Um, and Be'er Sheva. How did I end up in Be'er Sheva, Israel? So last year I was working, and then um, I wanted to leave the country, and you know, I did some traveling. Went to South and Central America. Went to uh, Europe a little bit, went back to Asia, um, and then I was like, ah, man, well, I had a job, I actually got a job with this U.S. company doing work in Israel uh, in the spring, I didn't take it, and then in the fall, I was like, okay, maybe I'll contact these guys again, started contacting them, going through the paperwork, doing the interviews, and all that, you know, all that junk, I ended up getting the job out in Israel, that was super cool, um, so after, I think, yeah, I went, I traveled in the, the late few months, the last few months of last year in Asia, and then I came back to the States for like two weeks to hang out with my family and friends, you know, for Christmas and uh, New Year's and all that. That was a lot of fun. And then after that, you know, I flew off, flew off to the good old Israel. And when I got to Israel, you know, I mean, I settled in, took me a few months to figure stuff out, learned a little bit of Hebrew or Ivrit. Um, you know, I'm studying a couple of languages and stuff, but um, yeah, it worked out. I was able to, you know, live in a new country. I'm still living there, and it may be able to save some more funds and figure some more stuff out, continue to study, develop, and, you know, plan for the future. And then once spring comes, I'll have the funds, you know, I'm going to take about, I think, around 20% of my, the funds I have set aside or so, and we use that to travel for a decent amount of time, and I'm going to try to make some money online, do some work um, editing or a few other things online while I'm traveling, and I'll probably do some, maybe some schooling and a few other things on the road, um, so we'll see, we'll see how that goes, but yeah, if you guys got any ideas for um, other things that I could, uh, I could, other ways, or I could, like jobs that you could think of I could do in Europe or Asia, or in Central America or South America, just just let me know. That'd be awesome. Um, feel free to put it in the comments or whatever. And then, so yeah, I guess that's Beersheba and why you know why I'm living here, what I'm doing here, um, and yeah, it's, it's a good place. I mean, Israel's super cool. There's it's not the biggest country in the world, but there's a lot of cool stuff to you. You got like some some serious history here. Like the Romans were here, Moses was here. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, it's been at, been at war for the past couple of so many years. I mean, there's Jerusalem, there's Tel Aviv, there's the Dead Sea, uh, which will be gone probably in our lifetimes. Like, it'll be dried out within our lifetimes because every year it's like going down a couple of feet or a meter or so. Um, and I really want to make a video about that because the Dead Sea, I guess it's alive. I mean, I, I'm going off topic, but um, not, it's not alive, but there's a lot of life in the Dead Sea as in microbials, and remind me, or eventually I'll make a video that goes into that, it's kind of cool, because they, they, um, every so many years, they're like, the population of these microbials, something triggers it, and their population gets really, really big, and it turns the Dead Sea red, and so you can actually see, like, pictures of the Dead Sea, I think the last time it happened was in 1991, where it's like, it's just super red because of all, um, the way that the, light rays reflect off of all these creatures in the water. So the Dead Sea really isn't dead. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. So back back to traveling. Why I love to travel and um, why I'm inspired to travel. So actually growing up, 
So actually growing up, my dad, he was super cool. Uh, and he was a gymnast. And he did gymnastics and stuff. Um, and then he was a missionary with, I think, Campus Crusade for Christ. And he did gymnastics in certain places around the world. And that was really inspiring to me. I'm like, oh, that's super cool. My dad travels. I want to travel. I want to be like my dad. My dad's awesome. Um, and that was kind of like the seed that was planted. And once that seed is planted, like as I grew up, I'm like, oh, it just makes sense. I mean, it's the, it sounds like the right thing to do. You know, travel, see the world. A lot of people, it's crazy. It blows my mind. A lot of people don't even leave the States. They never leave, like, some people don't even leave their state. I've heard of people, I've heard of a guy in New York City, um, this guy I used to truck drive with, he was on a run for a dollar, dollar, dollar Tree Run, and he was going from, I think, Waco, Texas, or somewhere in Texas up to New York. He went to New York, he got to this little part of the town, and he's looking for this Dollar Tree. And it was like around the block, around the corner. He asked this one guy for directions. He's like, hey man, uh, where's the where's the Dollar Tree on this and this street? And the guy's like, I don't know, man. I've never been outside of these X amount of blocks. I mean, that's where I went to school. That's where my first job was. That's where my second job was. He's literally pointing to places he worked and lived. Um, and like his his world, his physical world, if you believe that this world is you know, physical and real, not in a simulation or whatever, it was like super, super small. And that just blows my mind because I consider like the entire world my backyard. Like there's some Gaelic storm song that talks about, they sing about how uh, the whole world is backyard or whatever. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I, I want to kind of have that mentality or philosophy when it comes to you know, how I see the world. I'm like, I don't see, you know, the the thousand square feet, you know, I have in my apartment or whatever, my house or wherever, you know, wherever I'm living at the time as my home. I see it as like, yeah, it's a place I'm sleeping, this place I eat, a place I kind of, you know, I might have people over, have a party or this or that. But like my world is, or my home is the entire world, like the entire earth. Like I may not own the entire earth, but like I want to explore it and I feel like it's, uh, you know, it's like my house. It's a really, really big house that I have the opportunity to see and explore and see you know, meet the different people on, on the different, you know, different parts of the house, and, like, might as well go and check it out, um, so, yeah, that's, that's part of why I'm just so inspired to, to travel, it's because of my dad, and, like, once I started traveling, uh, I didn't really start doing so much since 10s last year, I mean, when I was, uh, like, right after I got out of high school, I went and, you know, lived around a couple places in the States for, some, some schools and stuff, and then I ended up living in Asia for a couple of years, and that was, like, really, really mind-opening, or eye-opening, that was really eye-opening, I mean, I, my whole goal was to get a job, so that way I could work, you know, in a foreign country, and it worked out, I was able to get work, you know, everything lined up, and, you know, I was fortunate enough to be able to get work in, in uh, Japan, and I was super, super excited, because, like, one, I have, um, I have some jam, Japanese, uh, Japanese. I have some Japanese ancestors, and uh, or you know, second uncles and aunts and whatnot, cousins of my dad. And I'm like, cool. I want to go, you know, go to that country, and that was really interesting to me growing up. Um, so I lived there for a couple of years. I didn't travel too much to other countries. I went to Korea and stuff when I was there, but like, I was um, that was just really eye opening. And I didn't do so much traveling by myself then. But then last year. I was like, the year before last year, I'm like, okay, next year, every year to the day I die, I'm going to see at least one new country a year. And that was like, that opened a huge door because I'm like, okay, I can't go another year without seeing another country. Can't go another year without seeing another country. So what I did is I I left, um, I left the States. I had like a week off to go visit a friend and some stuff fell through or whatever. So I was like, okay, let's see if I can find some cheap tickets to Central America. Ended up finding a really cheap ticket to um, Honduras, San Pedro Sula. Don't recommend going there by yourself, or especially for your like, first solo trip. Uh, but I went there, and then ended up going to Guatemala, Belize, Mexico, um, and a super short period of time. I think it was like five or six days. But I was just like, all right, I'm not going to sleep too much. I'll sleep on the buses, you know, just go up the way. A bus broke down. I had a hitchhike. Um, you know, I stayed at hostels, but I didn't really sleep that much because... You know, I was, I was constantly going from the next place to the next. I was able to see um, some Mayan pyramids in, in Guatemala and hang out with some people and, 
in uh, Mexico. That was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, Cancun, Mexico, if you stay off the Strip, I mean, the Strip is still fun, but it's really expensive around that area, but still, it's like, I mean, I had a good time. There's cool beaches, cool guanas and whatnot. It actually looks like I'm running out of time. Um, I'll make another video like this. If you guys want to see me, you know, walking in the desert or around a big city, just let me know, and I'll make a, make a video with, with a cooler background or something. Um, just kind of my, my ranting about traveling or, you know, some topic. If you can think of a topic you want me to cover or you want to hear my perspective on something, I know I'm not, like, super smart or know, you know anything crazy, but I do know a little bit about traveling, so I can share my opinion on that. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day. Peace out. Please, uh, if you like this video, like and um, subscribe if you want to see more content. Take care, guys. Peace.